Hello everyone, welcome back to my video channel and today I am going to talk about the resource partition. Before that, as I always do, I will give a quick recall uh, and also I will give a short introduction so that you can understand the today's topic better. So, we know that what is computation and there are two types of computation that is uh, uh, inter-specific computation and intra-specific computation. Here, inter-specific computation means computation between the two different um, organism, uh, two different species, sorry. And uh, if the computation within the same species, that is called as intra-specific computation. So, and also we know that resources are often limited in, in a habitat. Always, resource often are limited in a habitat. Many species uh, compete to get uh, hold of them. They may compete with each other for food, space, shelter, water, um, light, etc. And suppose uh, two species come uh, into contact means which they are going to live in a same area. And if the resources are limiting... So what happens, the species are like to compete strongly. So the superior one will live and the inferior or less adapted will become extinct. I hope. So you are getting some idea of who this is some logic we have studied in the previous video. Yes, we that is actually a competitive exclusion principle. You can see here in the name only we can find out some clues competition means it is due to competition exclusion means extinction means due to strong competition the superior one will uh, survive means the species which is more capable which is more adaptable that will survive and the species which is uh, inferior means which is less uh, adaptable that will become extinct because the source is very limited and uh, 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 they have to live in the same area. That's the reason the species will get extinct. So for that make you to understand how given in one the best simple example that is about bug. A guy and a bug. Uh, uh, a girl, sorry, a girl and a boy competing for the same bugger. Uh, because, uh, so, what happens? The stronger one will get the bugger and the another one will not get the bugger. So, that is the scenario. But, have you ever thought, uh, when you look at, uh, at the nature, so, even in the same area, the same kind of uh, species, similar species are still coexist even the source is uh, limited in that habitat so there is this is some question or you may uh, ask a question like this see uh, see uh, there is only one bugger right there is a only one bugger but you can uh, cut the bugger or uh, cut the bugger and they can partition the bugger and they can eat it Right, that is also possible. It's all. It's not always an extinction. Okay, competition will never always competition. Competition will never all will not lead to extinction always. Okay, it will not lead to extinction always. So there is a possibility of coexistence. So you can think over this. There is a possibility of coexistence. Okay, let us know how the species will coexist. How that is possible. Okay. Here, that could be possible by resource partitioning. Here, to make you simplify, to understand it better, uh, as in the name itself, resource means... Food. You can take it as a food. Okay. Partitioning. You know the meaning of partition means partition parts are divide. Here, resource part, uh, coming to definition, resource partition is the phenomenon 
way two or more species divides out resources like food space or resting site etc to coexist i repeat once again resource partitioning is the phenomenon where two or more species divides out resources like food space resting sites etc to coexist okay to uh, as i told before so that one bug uh, we can uh, divide it okay and we can uh, distribute between the two person that is also possible so they can coexist like that so species share resources in different ways for example it's like one species may active at night one species may active in day time to, so that they use the resource for example you can take an uh, example uh, species a species b species c and uh, species a uh, eat in the morning and species b eat in the uh, uh, lunch time and species c eat in the uh, evening time or the night time like in different timings they can use the resource that is also possible and for second example uh, one species can eat small seeds and another species can eat the larger seeds and the scientist the robert mac arthur he observed in the nature warblers warblers there are about different kinds of warblers but they are at the uh, eating on the uh, same feeding on the same tree but at a different area of the different area of the tree the warbler that is that is cape may warbler that feeds on the uh, top of the top or tips of the branches of the tree tree okay and the another warbler that is yellow rumped warbler warbler that uh, feed on the uh, lower part of the tree and another warbler that is bay breasted warbler that feeds in the middle part of the in the middle part of the tree so okay that he observed from the nature that means that even though competition exist they can reduce the competition and they can coexist in the same area using the same resource so here we can say that so by using they can use food habitats and they can feed, uh, use the timing or they can change the behavior they can change the time they can change the behavior or they can change the food by this they can do the resource competition and they can exist they can co exist and in the next video i am going to discuss about uh, character displacement uh, and if you are new to this channel please do subscribe to my channel thank you everyone